Finally, the big night arrives. Miraculously, the house is ready for consecration. This is a tremendously important night for Israelis. They're getting their first real concert hall. Now, that may not sound like much to most of us, but to these music-mad pioneers, it's a historic achievement. It's an extraordinary program featuring three great soloists, Otto Rubinstein, Isaac Stern, and Paul Tortelier. This vest belongs to Otto Rubinstein, who kindly loaned it to Lenny since I forgot to bring any. It doesn't quite fit. Armed with the Rubinstein vest, I have my first view of this beautiful hall filled to the rafters. This hall seats as many people as Carnegie Hall does, but the public is so music hungry that each program has to be played at least four times in Tel Aviv alone, a city smaller than Providence, Rhode Island. that same fine orchestra. Funny how deep a relationship can become with a hundred men of an orchestra, especially when you've played together in wartime, under fire, in desert outposts, through air raids. This is a country of old friends. Old friends, relatives, Mrs. Ben-Gurion, my father, well, that's one concert down and 20 more to go. But at least some of the pressure is off and now we can relax a little and see something of the country.